Hello and welcome to Lottie's Chainsaw Mods. I've got, uh, I'm just doing a speed test on uh, that fast Chinese that I built, 58cc Husqvarna clone. <coughs> and I'm racing it against me uh, still MS362. Okay, so we just, you know, hopefully show you how fast it actually is. Um, so we're going to go out there now and I'll just get on with it. There's me Husqvarna clone, 58cc, and there's me MS362. Well, I think that was pretty conclusive, don't you think? I mean, I haven't sort of, um, I haven't counted to see how long it, it, it takes to go through following the video and what have you, but I'll do it in a minute. But yeah, it's obviously faster, a lot faster. I mean, even the sound of it. <clears throat> I got um, 18,500 RPMs, which I did post on Facebook yesterday. Um, I took a photo of the tack on it. On the Husqvarna Chinese clone. Um, bearing in mind the MS362 they're, they're rated at I think 4.6 horsepower. The C with M Mtronic is rated at 4.8 but it's 4.6. It's got a light porting on that as well um, so it's probably a good 4.6 horse on the still MS362. The uh, <coughs> Chinese Husqvarna clone is 58cc, normally rated at 3.2 horse. Um, I'm going to build a dyno one day, and like I've, I've said a few times, but I haven't got around to it yet. I'll build a dyno one day and actually see what horsepower it actually pushes out. But oh, I reckon the way it feels, it's it's such a hungry saw, you know, if you... It, it, I mean, I didn't even push that. Like, if, if I wanted to push it, it, it there's a possibility it could have gone past. So I don't know. It may have slowed it down a bit. But it cuts at 10,500 RPM, that um, Chinese clone. Um, I've done videos about what I've done to it more significantly than anything because I've got another one that I tuned up, which is really fast. This one's faster. And the difference is the piston. 
I've really significantly lightened the piston and opened the windows up a lot. The piston looks very fragile, but I did a load of logging with it yesterday to see how it would hold up because I thought it might blow up at some point. And, and it did a few hours of logging, no problem. It was whizzing through the wood. Um, the thing I like about them as well is it, it's very light. It's great for just homeowner logging. How it would stand up long term, I don't know. You know, if someone was using it professionally, I don't know. But at the end of the day, for the purposes I want it for, um, just for logging, it's just perfectly right for what I want. It's nice and light. It runs a 20 inch bar. It would run a long bar easily. So would the other one that I've got. Like I said, you know, it's beat the ass off that 360. I'm sure it has, even though I haven't counted to see how long it, it, it took to cut. It, it has beat the ass off it, I'm sure it has. So one day, like I say, I'll build a dyno and I'll uh, check to see what the power is on that and a few of the other saws. But um, for now, I'm really happy with how, how it's going. Um, but like I say, if you're, if you're interested, just check out Matty's Chainsaw Mods on YouTube. Look through it, you'll see exactly what I've done to that saw. Um, and it's uh, it's a beast, I love it. So thanks for watching Matty's Chainsaw Mods once again. Bye for now. <coughs>